Today we're going to see if we can send a couple kilowatts across the standard Ethernet cable, such as this Cat5 cable here. This is a standard Ethernet cable. It's got uh, the RJ45 connector on it with uh, eight pins, uh, four pairs. We're going to be using three of the four pairs, leaving one pair for data. This is our test setup that we're going to use to power the cable. It essentially consists of a step-up transformer since we need a voltage to drive this cable considerably higher than 48 volts. In fact, it'll be running considerably higher than 120 volts. In fact, to send that much power through this cable, which is only rated for about 350 milliamps per connector, we're going to have to run at a feeder impedance about 100 times the standard 120 volt feed. So to do this, we have a step-up transformer down here that takes the 120 volts and steps it up. The high voltage from the transformer is fed into this uh, custom load controller that I built a couple of years ago in order to run uh, HID lighting and uh, reduce the power consumption of standard uh, 1500 watt bulbs used in uh, airports and parking garages. Then the output of the uh, controller comes out here on these high voltage lines. We look at it with a current transformer and a times 100 probe and uh, have it fed very carefully into an RJ45 connector right here uh, that's been potted and taped. So, to start things off, uh, let me begin with plugging this cable in to our custom load, which is a two and a half horsepower skill saw arranged with a seven and a quarter inch uh, cutoff blade. And uh, this is the down converter for the power coming in. Uh, the buck converter is a relatively simple uh, circuit and just fit in a standard electrical box. This is our active port for the power. And uh, to help me with this test is Josh. Josh, would you like to cut something with the saw? Sounds good to me. Let me plug you in. Okay, Get my ear protection, turn this on. I'll turn you to look at Josh. All right, Josh. Good work. The cable, of course, can handle it because there's roughly about uh, oh, one to one and a half amps total amongst all three pairs of RMS current in it. And to demonstrate uh, uh, one of the advantages of running at such a high feeder impedance, uh, that advantage being namely that uh, you have very good uh, active control of the current is uh, Josh is going to uh, try again, only this time I'm going to stop him with a pair of uninsulated metal scissors. Okay, Josh.
our load controller seems to think that the load has gone away. So there you have it, uh, about 2 kilowatts through an uh, Ethernet cable with RJ45 connectors.